Stick a fork in it. Is this a metal fork? Jesus, that seems dangerous. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't think that would go well. How's it going guys? My name is Graham and welcome to Kindergarten 2, which was just released. I specifically waited up for its like midnight release, playing it as soon as it came out, trying to get an early quick episode out for you guys. I have played through the original game, just not on the channel, but I am at least familiar with how things work in this series. This has been a long worked on labor of love for the developers, so it's really awesome to see that it's finally here. That's brilliant to have the game take place in Tuesday because it was kind of groundhog daying through Monday over and over in the first game. Hey, it looks like this is a new save file. Be sure to check help page in the pause menu to learn the controls and stuff. Don't worry, man. I got this covered. That's also where you can find the mission map. It'll tell you what story missions you can do and stuff you've unlocked. We can take a quick peek at it. A tale of two. This is this is much more like informative than we've ever had before. Actually, it lets you know which storylines you have to complete before you can properly do the other ones. A tale for uh, of two janitors. There's a new janitor. We got the re returning guy. Plenty of returning characters. Quite a few new ones as well. Flowers for Diana, and is that supposed to be like flowers for Aldernon? And a hitman's potty guard. I kind of feel like that's the one I want to try and track as best I can. Start it by talking to Felix and then Ted. Two new characters actually. I'm gonna try I'm gonna try and start that one because then we get straight into new stuff. Alright, when you're ready to get started, head over to that door and we'll start our first day of school. I kind of want to explore what you got going on around your, your room first too. Oh tons and tons of customization options, which currently we, we have none. That looks like it's a like a rainy shrunk down Smash Bros poster. I know the first game had like a shrunk down Force Awakens poster. Oh, would this be my Monstermon collection? Oh, and there's actually a playable Monstermon game within this, so I have to build up my deck a little bit. There's a button on my bedroom wall. I don't know what it does. Press the button. Just make a weird little fart sound. <laughs> Nothing happened. Whatever this is, I'm not ready for it yet. Ah, bummer. Then with that, we can probably get started in the actual day. We already have the teacher, janitor, uh, Cindy, is that her name? Oh, geez, I'm getting all hung up on Bugs, Bugs the Bully. Oh, I, th I, I was waiting for like a cutscene to play out. I'm immediately ready to go. Why do several of the apples that I can spend have faces on them, I wonder? So I need to talk to Felix and then Ted. I believe this is my man. I can't believe it. It's not fair. What's what's your name? I'm Ozzy, and we're, you're one of those awful new kids. I can't believe my friends got moved to new schools for this. Well, I'm not sure why your picture was in the mission map. Your Ozzy is not who I was looking for. How many were moved? Three. We got a bad deal if you ask me. Well, it's been nice talking to you. Oh my god. Nugget! Nugget's stuck in like a jail cell, school jail of some kind. Help! Nugget is trapped! How'd you get down there? What do you want me to do? Yeah, what do you want me to do about it? Find help. Ask the teacher or janitor or principal. Nugget does not care. Just get Nugget out of here. Okay, okay, I'll figure it out some other day. It's not, not really starting my, my day with, with this sort of thing. I need to ease myself into kindergarten. Here we are. Here's Ted. Nice to meet you, Ted. And this is probably Felix? I told you already, Teddy. The plan is foolproof. Just do exactly what I told you and I know it's just, I don't know, Felix. This whole thing seems so wrong. Ozzy hasn't done anything to us. Oh, so is Ozzy and Felix, they are w one and the same? It'll be fine. Quit being such a... <clears throat> How long have you been listening to our little chat? Not long. Good. Wouldn't want Ted here to get in trouble. Hey, why would I get in trouble? I didn't do anything. Which is just so typical for you, Teddy. <sighs> I'll just save our family's company myself. Uh, a couple of spoiled rich kids. Good luck with that. I can't believe it. It's not fair. Uh, what's not fair? We can get a little bit more about it. The reasoning? The resoning of my friends? Rezoning. Rezoning. <laughs> All of them but me. Move to a new school to make room for you jerks. 
How many removed? Three we, we It was the same exact thing you told me last time. Go away, kid. I don't want to talk about it if you insist. Hey, uh, you looking to buy something? Ooh, we got our new salesman replacing Monty, I believe his name was. Yep, you're still selling stuff? What happened to you? Oh, is this the same is this the same character? That rotten janitor didn't like that I corrected his spelling, which was totally one of the storylines, and he just mangled the kid. But it's kind of funny to think that those storylines keep kept resetting and that weird things have been persistent after that now. But rest assured, he's gonna get what's coming to him. You're gonna kill him? Kill him! Oh, no, 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 no. I'm going to destroy him. Uh, okay then, Monty. You gonna buy something or what? Uh, show me what you got. What can I do for you? I didn't mean to click on that. This hand sanitizer kills 99.9% .9 of germs. That last 0.1% probably lives on Nugget. Two dollars? No thanks. There's also the battery and the lighter. Didn't mean to go for any of it. Well, this janitor looks... A little bit friendlier, a little bit more chipper. His mop looks a lot less stinky. He's got a new mop. I bet that's creating some some tension. It looks like a generally more well-equipped janitor. Teddy here is just so mediocre. Whatever he's trying to accomplish will surely fail. How supportive. Oh, hey, I'm Ted. Why aren't you in on Felix's plan? So this is, this is the two of them, Ted and Felix. Because he's a good-for-nothing disgrace to my family's name. I'm sorry, Felix. I just want to help. I can do this. Maybe I can explain better during morning time? I'll be in the regular class. The stupid class. <sighs> the stupid class. If you want to talk, then. Okay. I'll see you then. I'm probably not that bright. Look at those dim little eyes. I'm surely supposed to be in the stupid class. Okay, cool. I can't wait to get started. Now that I think about it, we can start now. Well, what are you trying to accomplish exactly? Just help me with this one part and I'll tell you the rest during morning time, okay? Well, yeah, what do you need? Help me move this along. Well, we're gonna need to distract Ozzy during morning time. Talk to him and see if you can figure out what will draw his attention. I'm gonna need someone who can stage a fight with. I, I'm gonna stage a fight with him. Probably a girl. Although, with the rezoning, I'm not sure if there are any in the, uh, in the dumb class. I know a dumb girl. Teddy, you can't pull this off. I'll handle it. Let it go. I'm gonna try. You'll see. Oh, I think we know our, our dumb girl. We were married to her at one point. The size of this guy's head uh, makes me think of, like, Mr. Mackey from South Park. It's also very particular that he isn't outlined. Just in the character's designs, they all have, like, darker colored outlines. His, like, outfit isn't, and I'm I just... Something I noticed. Yo, Cindy, you wanna fight a, a little boy? Just just for gigs? This new school is so much more my style, especially the new selection of boys. What do you think? Ted actually uh, wants your help with something. Ooh, how forward. I've been here for like five seconds and I'm already being propositioned. Yeah, oh uh, wow, amazing. Well then, he'll just have to go through a little test. Here's some gum. If he makes it find its way into another girl's hair, then it's a date. I'll let him know. What is with you and putting gum in hair? That's like your main M.O., hey? I don't like it when a man keeps me waiting. I want it done before the bell rings. Chop, chop. He'll get right on it, which means that I'm sure I'll be the one who does it. So, is there a girl you can set me up with? You got it. Ugh. Why did you give me some chewed up gum? You gotta stick it in a girl's hair, dude. That's, that's so mean, but my plan. Will this girl go along with my plan if I do this? As crazy as she may be, she's somewhat reliable. Okay, I guess I'll just stick it in Carla's hair. Why not Penny? I honestly don't know who is who at this point. Uh, so if you, you know these people better, if you say Carla, I'll say Carla, I guess. I'm really sorry about this, Carla. Sorry about what? You haven't done anything- Oh! So, so that's how it's gonna be. Well, you just made yourself an enemy, Ted. I'd watch your back if I was you. I'm really sorry, but I have this really elaborate plan to- Get away from me! <laughs> oh, man. She seemed really mad. I feel terrible. 
This is your plan, dude. I know, but can you just go over there and see if she's okay? Maybe we can make it up to her later. I'll see what I can do. Oh, that was wonderful! You're gonna be an excellent boyfriend! Oh, I'm so sorry, dude. I'm so sorry to have put you in this position. Yeah, okay, it's all coming together. I'll see you in morning time. Good grief, Teddy. It's fine, Felix. My plan will work, you'll see. I'm gonna walk away. I don't want to be in the middle of this triangle here. So, Carla. Ugh, what the heck is wrong with Ted? He just came up and stuck gum in my hair. Uh, anything I can do to help? Uh, is this just saying that this would be my last opportunity to deal with Monty or like... Like, I, I don't, I don't quite understand. I don't know if I want to immediately offer to help because I feel like I kind of also have to talk to Felix. It seemed to matter to Ted. Anything I can do to help. That's nice, kid. I appreciate it. I could use some scissors to cut this crud out of my hair. Where do you think I could get some scissors? Upstairs, but since you're in the, uh, less gifted class, it would probably be easier for you to get them at lunch. I'll keep an eye out then. Thanks, kid. Here's a vending machine coupon. I would do it myself, but I'm not allowed to use the machine anymore after I started counterfeiting these. Neat, good for you. Very uh, entrepreneurial. Cool. Okay. Yeah, that's basically what that meant, is that that was my last opportunity to go and interact with Monty. So, I, I don't particularly know why. Maybe he just, it takes him a lot longer to get to class or something, so he takes off a little early. Worth keeping in mind, didn't need it this particular time, I don't think, so I should be fine. Can't believe it, it's not fair. What's not fair? What do you like to do? I like to play with my favorite toy, Destructodron. He's so cool, or used to be. His battery ran out. Not that a new kid like you cares. There aren't any other batteries? I could have bought some from Monty. Not unless one of you new kids, kids is selling them. Until then, my favorite toy is just a dumb paperweight. Well, I will do what I can to go and get a battery for you. This is the exact thing I was hoping wouldn't happen. Damn it. Hopefully I can take care of that during like morning block and, and resolve that for him. Hello! I'm the principal of this fine school. I'm so happy to have so many new students today. Nugget is stuck in the in the sewer grate over there. Oh! Little odd child. Yes, I'm aware of the situation. Gonna do anything about that one? Most certainly. I wouldn't just leave a student trapped in a sewer. The fire department is on their way to get him out. Thanks, I'll, uh, I'll let him know. Oh, that won't be necessary. I'll have my sister watch over him. Oh, Margaret! Is this Margaret? Okay! We have a... Aw, oh, twitchy, like dead-eyed, wild character like this. Her and the janitor are totally getting set up. That's gotta be a storyline or like a B plot of something. Huh? What? Behind you, sweetheart. Oh, how can I be of service? There's a boy trapped in the sewer grate. Go keep him company. Yes, principal sister dear. I, you, do, you do look like you're gonna have fun together over there. There, all taken care of. Anything else? Seems like the wrong thing to ask, but what's wrong with her? Oh, not really sure. Must be all the new students having her a little on edge. Did she call you sister? Yeah, she did. She was having trouble finding a job and I couldn't let the poor thing starve. That's good of you, I suppose. That's the bell. Everyone head inside to your assigned classrooms. Oh, in stupid class. The same teacher. Okay, kids. Teacher has a headache, so... We're gonna be very quiet. It looks like this school has more funding than the last one, since there are actually toys. Go play. Just, just be quiet. Teacher's mad hung over this morning. Oh, he immediately went to go play with Destructotron. Ah, uh, but Morty, oh my god. Why does Nugget have like blood in his mouth and how do I go interact with him? But Monty, Monty is like not in the room anywhere with us, which is rough. Destructotron was the best toy in the toy box. My friends and I used to play with him all the time before you new kids came in. Was the best toy. Yeah, he's out of batteries, no friends, no toys. You new kids are the worst. I just straight up don't care, Ozzy. Just keep that to yourself. I, 
apparently don't intend to help. Do you, like, legit want to play house again, same as before? I just love this doll. She's so pretty, just like me. That's great, Cindy. I'm happy for you. There are some toys in here, but only the spinny fidgeter looks interesting. I will choose to take nothing for now. I see a Monstermon card. Hey! I know I look like death right now. My eyes still work. No going through other people's cubbies. Ah, uh, same as before. I have to create a diversion of some kind. Oh, good you're here. Felix has a scheme that's going to help our family's company. But I have a better one. No one wants to listen to it. I'll listen. Give me the give me the skinny on it. Because I feel like I kind of need to be brought into the fold here. I'll tell you. But you got to promise not to tell anyone, though. Felix will be so mad if his plan gets ruined and it's all my fault. Come on, man. Was me spending an apple not worth your trust? I won't tell anyone. I want to use you to kill Ozzy. Okay. Yeah, why to both of those? Why Ozzy? Well, you see, uh, Felix said it's because... I actually don't know. But I think it has something to do with our inheritance. Your inheritance? Yeah, Felix and I are going to be going to getting a large sum of money when I turn 18. Felix says a dumb kid like me won't know what to do with it. Maybe he's right. Yeah, I don't see how Ozzy factors into this at all. No, I'm not. I'll show Felix. We're going to kill Ozzy all by ourselves. We don't need him to do it. So how do we kill him? Well, I want to give him an asthma attack. He uses his inhaler a lot. He keeps it in his cubby. Why do we need Cindy? We're gonna need a long distraction. I figured we could pretend to fight or something, draw the teacher's attention, and you could grab it. Well, let's get that inhaler. Right, but first we should handle Ozzy. You got something to distract him with, right? I didn't. Was that something to distract him? Ah, oh, man, Felix was right. This is a stupid plan. Just leave me alone, kid. You're not who I needed you to be. Oh, jeez. That really cuts to the core. I'm just being the best new kid I can be. Jesus Christ, Nugget, what is going on? <gasps> Nugget is present! No, Nugget is late. So you're going to study hall. Oh, dear God, what happened to your arm? Nugget had to chew it off in order to escape from the failed Nugget cave. Why did you... Oh, never mind. Do you want to go with a nurse? You're bleeding all over my new classroom. Nugget is quite durable. Nugget will survive. If you insist, go ahead and play or do whatever it is that you do. Oh my god, he's just spraying it all over. Cindy didn't seem to mind too much. He goes and grabs the fidget spinner. So if you grab the fidget spinner, then he wouldn't be able to do it. He would probably wig out super hard. Or like, there was that first block nugget thing that I wonder if there was a way to get to him and like interact with him right at the very beginning. Hey, you can't leave. I'm responsible for you little monsters. Need to use the, uh, the bathroom. Too bad. I don't have a bathroom pass for this new school yet. I just have to hold it. You don't look like you can stop me. I can still give you study hall. Apparently that's a punishment for stuff here. Go ahead. I'm kind of experimenting with this a little bit. Wow, this guy's just like T-posing. He's really taking himself seriously to guard this, isn't he? Mostly I'm just trying to track down Monty to see if there's still some way to go and get the battery. Otherwise, I think I'm pretty much going to have to restart if I want to actually finish this storyline. Hold up, new kid. You're only allowed to use the bathroom, nothing else. So, is that what a hall pass? Only until we can distribute pass books to you new kids. Now either go to the bathroom or go back to class. Pass book? We use them instead of traditional passes here unless it's a, spe a special occasion. They'll be distributed soon. Stop dawdling and go back to class. Fine. I couldn't bum rush him. Thought maybe he wouldn't be paying close enough attention. Leads outside to the handicap ramp. Ah, it's locked. I think I'm going to have to restart this. First things first, so I don't miss the opportunity. I would like to like to buy some things. It's going to be a struggle, but I fully intend to keep my business running. I will buy something. I'll buy a battery. It can power small electronics and toys for two bucks. Yeah, I'll do it. Pleasure doing business with ya. It always is, pal. 
I wonder what would happen if I got him to put the gum in a different girl's hair, but I guess for now I'm gonna get him to just uh, stick with Carla, since that's what we had set up originally, try and stick that through, we can find out Penny another time. I'll make sure to like meet the other characters when we do other storylines. For now I'm just kind of sticking with the current one here and it'll, it'll be a nice way to slowly roll things out, you know? Alright, this should be easy enough to set up. It was the best toy, it doesn't have battery, take this one. Oh really? Thanks. Maybe you aren't so bad. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty much the best. I'm gonna go play over by the toy box. See you around, kid. <laughs> Weird to declare where you're gonna go. I'm gonna go play over there. That's the best place to play. Alright, let's just try to keep our distance away from like 127 hour nugget over there. Although, he seems a little hyper. It was probably like 127 minutes. Oh, good, you're here. Felix has a scheme. Uh, uh what, what is it? Yeah, we, you have to catch me up again. Oh, this time, why me though? We heard about what happened at your old school. We know what you're, um, capable of? Yeah, we kind of killed everyone. I don't know what you're talking about. No, it's cool. I'm cool with you being a, um, murderer. That's why we wanted to recruit you. So you want me to kill Ozzy? I don't. I, well, Felix does. And I, I want what Felix wants. Yeah, yeah. I want you to kill Ozzy. W what's in it for me? Felix doesn't let me know about the family money. I just assume that he's going to give you something really expensive if we pull this off. Well, I want to give him an asthma attack, yeah. Felix also didn't empty his cubby before going to the smart class. There might be uh, some stuff worth grabbing. No, 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 no. Money is in my cubby. Felix is, is the one to the right of Ozzy's there. It looks like you have pills or something. Anyway, let's go start a distraction. Lead the way. Oh, look, he actually like comes along with me. Alright, Cindy, I just love this doll. We need a distraction. Oh, really? Sorry, sweetie, but I'd only do something like that for my boyfriend. Ted will be your boyfriend? Yeah, remember? We need to put on a show to distract the teacher. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's my kind of date. You ready to go, then? He is. I'm committing him to this on the spot. I speak for him, apparently. Let's go. Be ready to grab that inhaler, kid. Follow me, boyfriend. We're about to have our first spat. The time that we had like a fake fight, it wasn't to distract anything, it's just like a game she likes playing, so we're not even like putting her on the spot. She just loves playing Broken Household. Are you ready, sweetie? Ready for what? You haven't told me anything. Just play along, I've done this a million times. Play along with what? This doesn't- HOW DARE YOU! Ow, oh, this- hey, that hurt, you're a jerk! Well, there's more where that came from. Hey, Cindy, stop! Knock it off right now! That must be just so difficult for the teacher to deal with. <laughs> Everyone just immediately starts wailing on each other. Ozzy's cubby, take the inhaler. And this is Felix's cubby. I actually, I don't actually know what it is. It's a uh, green and it's in a bag. Take the stuff. Did we just pipe crab pot? Okay, okay, I'll stop, but I'll kill him if he ever does it again. Not good enough, you little brat. You're getting study hall for this little incident. It was worth it. She really kind of gets off on that in a way that kindergartners do that's not weird. Did you get it? Please tell me you got it. I got it, man. Awesome. You're really good at this. Now what? Now that we took away his lifeline, we just need to stress him out enough to trigger an asthma attack. What stresses him? Ozzy's a bit particular. He likes to do things a certain way. If we can break his routines, he should start freaking out. Where do we start? Lunch. He does a lot of really specific things there. Shouldn't be hard to throw him off his game. Alright. Attention, new kids! The hall monitor is just... I love his aggressive pose, but I guess it's more like straight out. Here's your passbook. If you get an adult to sign it, you're allowed out in the halls. Don't get any crazy ideas, though. You're only allowed to use it once per day. Ooh, crazy! Multiple signings per day. Thank God, that's the bell. Get out of my classroom and go to lunch. Okay, I didn't really get the full rundown of what we need to distract specifically. Oh, there you are. It's time to move forward with the next stage of the plan. And what would that be? Look at that one-handed mopping technique. Crafted over decades. What the devil are you talking to him for? What are you two doing? Oh, uh, nothing, Felix. I'm just gonna show the new kid where the forks are. Follow me, new kid. 
forks right next to the knives. <laughs> Spoons sometimes. All the cutleries. <laughs> Is Felix still looking? Okay, Felix can't know that we're doing this. I just want, I, I want to do it, just the two of us, so he knows that I can take charge of stuff. In a few minutes, Ozzy's gonna leave and use the bathroom. You need to take the stall on the left. That's the stall he likes. So what? It'll stress him out! That's the name of the game here. We just have to keep putting pressure on him until he cracks. Now go to that stall and wait for him. Okay, geez. Oh, Felix is watching. I uh, here's a fork. So, so we don't look suspicious. Thanks. Also, did you talk to Carla? Will she forgive me? She wanted scissors? Oh, of course. Well, you should probably do that while you're out as well. Good idea. I'll look out for a, a vending machine. I do actually kind of want to straight up talk to her too. New kid, how are you liking the food? It's fine, I guess. The janitor's a whole other can of worms. I think maybe I'm gonna hit that one up a little later. I can't believe none of the new boys want to sit with me. I'm still stuck hanging out with these two losers. Good luck with that, Cindy. I forgot that we knew him as well. He just, like, doesn't really want to talk to us. Jerome, right. What's the point of all this anyway? I don't know, Jerome. I don't know. Bugs, another time. Condiment station, the school has everything. Good thing we followed up on that. Caution sign. I can't read it, but I assume it's warning me not to slip in this puddle. What if I were to walk right through the puddle? I'm as agile as a gazelle. Hello, child. What would you like for lunch? I will take nothing today. It's fine. Hey, guy. Buddy, mind if I just slip on by? No kids allowed in the teacher's lounge. Go finish your lunch, kid. Yeah, that's fine. I don't... I'm not worried about that. Ah, Nugget, thank you for providing this bread crumb trail for me. Nugget is getting quite woozy. Nugget misses his arm. I don't want to talk to Nugget anymore. I'm done with that for now. Done with that chapter. Normally my girlfriend would sit next to me and my best friend would sit across me. But no, we can't have that anymore. Stupid new kids. Whatever, Ozzy, I bet you're making all that up. You seem like a lonely dweeb. What are you doing? You cannot leave. You have not eaten yet. Uh, is that a thing? I just have to, like, wolf down one of your burgers? At least this food seems better than the last place. I'm not eating gloop or whatever it was called. Here you are, child. One burger. Please enjoy. She's pretty friendly. May have been nepotism, but she seems good at what she does. I, I bought the burger. Oh, my mistake. Please allow me to mark your passport. <laughs> Here you go. There you are. Thank you for buying lunch today. You're welcome. I don't know why it's like the only character I gave a voice to so far. Nugget, I guess, kind of gets a bit of a voice. This guy. I I think he was the, the hall pass monitor in the original game as well. Hey, man, you need a pass to be out here. Go back to lunch or I'm giving you study hall. I got one, dude. Chill out. Oh, bathroom pass. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Thank you very much. And the one on the left. God, he likes this one. This one is full of, like, bullet holes or something. There's a couple spiders on the wall here. I'm not touching them unless I can spray them with something first. In that case, I'll leave them alone. It looked like cracks and spiders. I thought he liked the, the left one, but, yep, those are urinals. Walk away. Oh, I still have one more time to ride out then. Oh, he likes the stall, not the urinal. Okay, then yes, I'm using this one, and so he should arrive now? Ah, crap. Well, there's probably something more I could have done then. Uh, I still don't know where the vending machine is, actually. I could take a quick peek around. Uh, janitor's closet, locked up. Passes for the bathroom, not upstairs, I can't let you there, but what do I need? Mm, well, that little narc took my cigarettes this morning. You wouldn't happen to have something to smoke, would you? Oh shit, I do actually. Uh, in that case, restart this section. I figure the restarts are worth it so we can progress things and see the proper endings rather than just like fumbling through the game repeatedly. Okay, now I won't waste an action in the bathroom stall. I can go straight upstairs. I, I do have something to smoke. Whoa, it's even better than cigarettes. Thanks, man. You are so welcome. Away we go, and a vending machine, which I'm very curious to see what there are. There's a row of scissors, but what else would it have? A passbook, 
quite expensive, and the scissors, totally reasonable. Alright, that didn't even use a- oh, but I still, I think I missed. Nuts! It seems like I really have to do that in a different order then. Yeah, see, he's already in the bathroom now. Uh, hey, is anyone out there? I need some toilet paper. There isn't any in here. Well, you're boned. Seems like a good way to stress him out. I don't even need to steal this doll away. I just need to make him have to wipe his butt with his hand. This is gross. Gross thought. You can have the bag of stuff to smoke. You're welcome. Then I'm gonna slip into the bathroom and use the stall. And hopefully I have enough actions left for everything here. What the? Who's in there? This is my stall. I use it every day. Come out right now. I'm not done yet. Unacceptable! <laughs> Everyone knows this is my stall. Now hurry up and finish. Just use the other one. The other one? I'd rather die. Then die. Ugh! You haven't heard the last of this, kid. Bye, Ozzy. Bye-bye. You don't even know who I am. And if you're not going to stick it out to find out, then that's your loss, sucker. <laughs> and now I gotta slip upstairs and hopefully yeah okay perfect I still have time to grab these scissors so buy the scissors and that's the last thing there thanks for the hookup and everything but you gotta get going bro I will get going then sounds like a plan have you seen my inhaler I thought I left it in my cubby but it's not there I haven't seen it oh god look at the bees turn it good thing I keep a backup in my locker upstairs I'll just use that if anything happens. Oh, I was starting to like... <sighs> Turns out that's not not quite there yet. Well, I'm gonna talk to Ted first, try and figure this out. Oh, you guys have a trampoline in your playground. That's dope. The rock climbing wall is cool and everything too. And obviously at some point we're gonna break out through there. But the trampoline, I'm jealous as hell. Did you hear that? He has another inhaler. Darn it. Well, he definitely seems stressed. I take it you made it to his stall on time? Good. We continue with the plan then. We just need to adapt a little. We've got some things to do. One is to find a green flower. Ozzy is highly allergic. Just seeing one should be enough to freak him out. Where can I get it? There's a few around the school. I know one grows back by the dumpster. I guess that's where I'm headed then. And Felix, you caught wind of any of this just yet? Bugger off, Urchin. I'm not interested in playing with you. Bugger I shall. This gate looks like it'll probably open with a slight push. That was about as easy as it ever could have been. Green flower. I will take it. La di da. And what's written on the dumpster here? There's got, uh, like a little note. It sounds like someone's laughing inside. Give it a quick little knock. See who's there. <laughs> who's banging on my dumpster? Oh, hello, child. So good to have a visitor. Nay, you wouldn't have to have any food on you. Who are you? I I think I'm uh, maybe not going to deal with this. My name's Agnes. This is my dumpster. I live here. So anyway, you got any food? What are you drinking? <laughs> it's a lovely drink. Keeps me young. Mrs. Margaret dumps loads of stuff in here. Now come on, give me some food. I don't have any. Bye-bye then. Can I sneak back in this way? Because, yeah, I, I think I'm done with all this. It leads to the principal's office. That's not where I wanted to go exactly. Mostly, I need to get back in, I think, to block this kid from accessing his inhaler. Nugget thinks this would be a good place for the Nugget Cave. That's nice, Nugget. I think I'm going to leave you to that, though. Hey, Ozzy. Oh, the tree's quite large. It has a beehive hanging precariously from a branch. I would ignore it, although it seems like that would probably scare the shit out of this kid. I prefer to stay under here. Wouldn't want to get a sunburn. Yeah, hang out next to the bees. That's a good plan. Ugh, the sun is so bright. What a miserable day. That's great, Teach. I'm not allowed inside. Sh shit. I, I did get the flower, though. I should let this guy know. Wow, you are good. So now we have to just get into that locker and steal the backup inhaler. How are we going to do that? There's only one person that could get us into that locker. I put gum in her hair this morning. Oh no. Well, let's see if we can smooth, th smooth things over with her. Maybe she'll forgive me. I wonder if this would all play out differently if I put the gum in Penny's hair. 
Because, like, now we have something to offer Carla, whereas we would have to independently find a way to help Penny, maybe, to get her help later in the game, or to win Carla over or whatever. Uh, I'll see what can be done. Hey, how's, how's this trampoline? Get in line, gringo. Jesus. I'll, it's still my turn to jump on the trampoline. We have a job for you. Is that so? Well, you fucking dicks put gum in my hair. And why would I, why be I inclined? And why would I be so inclined to help the kid who put gum in my hair this morning? I'm really sorry about that, but if it helps, my plan has been pretty si Shut it, snob. Did you get the scissors I asked for? I did, actually. Good. At least I got that going for me. Will you help us? I guess if you do one more favor for me. See that kid in the wheelchair over there? He's been making some moves on my turf today. I gotta show him not to do that. You sell shit too? Good to know. Here's a screwdriver. See to it that his wheels are less than operable. We can do that. Nothing is below me or above me or whatever. I'll do it all. No way, you'll see us. There's two of you. Why don't you pretend to buy something from the little fence while the other one sneaks behind him and pops out a screw? Not that complicated. Alright, we got this. Good. Come see me when it's done. Ted, you feeling good about this? I guess we have to do this. We have to further disable a cripple. I feel sick. You're trying to kill a kid. It's different. I know Felix has a good reason for... Never mind, I can't justify that one either. <laughs> Let's just get it over with. Right. Before we do, if you want to buy or sell stuff, you should probably do it now. I doubt he'll be in the mood after we ruin his day. I know what you mean, but I do want to hear you say it. For the last part of my plan, I have to go to science instead of gym. Okay, I'll pretend to buy or sell something. Just try to make sure he doesn't get hurt too bad, okay? I'll do my best. How are we going to hurt him? Aren't we just kind of stopping the chair from moving? Hold on a minute, kid. Money bags over here is going to make a purchase. Okay, okay. How do I do this? Wow, uh, so much stuff that I want to buy. Yes, I want to buy something. You're doing great, Ted. Keep up that specifically. Should I remove a screw? Yes. Very much so. <laughs> oh, oh, no. No, 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 no. What happened to my chair? This sucks. Why is this happening to me? We're terrible people. We are very, very bad people. He destroyed his entire chair somehow. Why was why was one screw screw supporting everything? Oh my! I uh, uh, I'll let you get yourself together. We'll talk later when you're um not on the floor. Just get out of here. Well done. Okay, deal's a deal. I'll see to it that Ozzy's locker is open by the time you get to it. Can you grab the inhaler for us? Not part of the deal. You only said the locker. You're going to have to grab whatever you want out of it by yourself. I feel pretty bad about that, but it was necessary. Sure, it was. It's almost time to do the actual job now. You ready for the big moment? What do we have to do? When the bell rings, pay the lab fee and go to science. That's where Ozzy goes after recess. And then what? Once you're there, cause a distraction and sneak out. Grab the inhaler out of his locker. Once you have it... Show Ozzy the flower. He should fall apart and die. Carla, how are, the, how are things going? You enjoying your recess? How's that coming? Coming your hair treating you? Good talking to you. Good thing we continue discussing this plan right here. Felix and I will meet you after school. If all goes well, you'll be handsomely rewarded. I'll see you then. Monty, it's all good. What? I can get up by myself. Leave me alone. Sure thing, Monty. It says this is my last chance to talk to the teacher, so I'm going to hit her up. Oh, maybe I have nothing to interact with. Ozzy, any last thoughts on all this? Felix? No, in that case, I'm just going to advance things. Just spend the apple. Is that not spacebar? How do I do that? I think I'm just going to eat an apple and advance things then. Finally! Just one more class and I get to go home. Anyone who wants to pay the lab fee and go to the... Anyone who wants to pay the lab fee can go to the science classroom. Everyone else meet in the gym. I don't have an anywhere near enough money. I don't seem to have the piggy bank to choose how much money I take with me either. Shit, I'm definitely only going to have time to grab two things. So I guess I have to try to grab the money this time. 
Although then I won't be able to give the kids something to smoke. Uh, it's three bucks. I think I just have to take it. Yes, kid, believe it or not, I occasionally do my job. Well, good for you. I need an elevator key to go that way. I won't have anything to give this kid to smoke, so is there any other way I can get up? Can't let you up there, sorry man. Shit. Oh, but what if I just go back in the classroom? Damn it, locked. Uh, I could try and sell something to him at recess, actually. For people who haven't really played before, you can jump back and redo previous, like, segments of the game, so it's a really quick way to, like, experiment with things. Chase Ozzy out of his stall again. Up until this point, I, I'm recreating what I had done previously with getting the inhaler and, and taking the stuff to smoke so I can make it back up to here. Oh, do you know what? I was thinking he's not going to give me much for the fork, probably nothing for the burger. I, I won't have the scissors anymore. He might actually give me enough money for selling the inhaler still. And I will not have to just spend an apple the way I did last time. This is totally what I'm supposed to be doing here. Uh, the inhaler, I can take that. I'll give you two bucks for it, which puts me exactly where I need to be. Perfect. That's what I was missing before. Oh, that's all the business for one day, Mr. Monty. Don't worry about it. I will pay to go to science, which is a weird thing. Welcome, science class! Today's lesson is all about plants. Please observe the common plant in front of you. Oh, gross. That, uh, anatomy is very, very accurate. That bell is, like, dripping blood. Observe! Notice how it is neither carnivorous or poisonous because the PTA is a bunch of cowards. Feel free to take a sample and look at it under one of the microscopes. This one won't do much, but it could if Ozzy's mom wasn't such a wimp. Wow, really gunning for this kid, hey? Go away, kid, I'm trying to learn about plants. Check out this plant. Ah, uh, no, get it away from me! <laughs> I think I'm having an asthma attack! Give him some room! Damn it, Ozzy, we've been over this! What's, ah, oh, I, 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 where's your inhaler? <laughs> I skipped past it. In my locker, please hurry! I kind of made a mistake, I, I probably should have, uh, went and stopped that first. Take a breath. Don't let this happen again. What is wrong with you? Why did you do that? I could have died. That was kind of the point. Whoa, wait. Back it up. You're trying to kill me? Why? I haven't done anything to you. Ted put me up to it. Of course. My mom just launched a startup that competes with his family's company. Taking me out would cripple her emotionally. I didn't know that. Looks like I'm gonna have to send a message to the Huxley family. What message? I'm gonna go kill their hitman. I'm, uh, wait, 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 what? Oh god, he just started choking me out immediately. Well, I think I maybe am going to have to restart. Uh, achievement, hard knock life. Ozzy can get back up with a vengeance after using his inhaler. Restart the, uh, the current area. The achievement is literally just die for the first time. It didn't matter how. No leaving when there's science to be done. Fine. This is an electrical outlet. It can probably be used to create a distraction under the right circumstances. Stick a fork in it. Is this a metal fork? Jesus, that seems dangerous. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't think that would go well. Don't stick forks in the electrical outlet. This applies to real life, too. There are some fish in the tank. There are some small yellow particles in here. I wonder what they would look like magnified. I'm gonna leave it, I guess. Oh, I see you like the leg. I used to have two, but the other went missing. If you find it, please bring it to me. I think I'm gonna leave that be. Is this thing just like a smusher? It's not a, it looked like a bell. Then we have a magnet and all the chemicals that are all sealed off from us. Box of slides, I can put samples on them and view them under the microscope. I'll, I'll take a slide, I'll do some science. Should we look at weird samples? Why not? Although this isn't what the guy wants us to do, I want to examine the slide and see what's up. Oh, you seem to have discovered my little squids. They're so tiny, you can barely see them in the tank over there. What are they for? I just think they're neat. And their ink is an extremely potent neurotoxin. And you're keeping them in the classroom? I'll give you one of those silly Monster Men cards if you don't say anything to Ozzy. Deal. Excellent, the tiny squid. Now please go back to studying the subject at hand. 
Sure thing, teach. Now here's something curious. If I receive this, it deals two damage, reduces a red monster mon's damage by three. It's a first edition. This picture was taken using a 1,000 times magnification. Now, the question remains, if I restart in this very room, do I still have that card? I do. Nice. So that was worth it. Take a slide, take a sample of the plant, and do do some legit science. Did, did you actually examine the boring plant sample? I did. Oh, you must be a hit at parties. <laughs> Nerd. Well, I suppose you deserve something for actually doing the work. Here's a Monster Mon card. Hey, hey, we got the chill stump. <laughs> Let me see what this is. Oh, yeah. Chill as can be. Totally relaxed. Two damage, reduce blue Monster Mon damage by three. Such a cool guy. He gets invited to all the parties. Too bad he can't go because he's stuck in the ground. Legit, how do I cause a distraction here? <laughs> I can't believe we don't get to do show and tell. Oh, they totally cut that out of the game, hey? Oh, what's that? What? Pretty flower you have. Can I have it? Only if you help me. Help you? I guess I could. What do you need? I need another distraction. You're continually on the hook here, Cindy. I don't know. Dr. Danner seems smarter than Miss Applegate. He probably won't fall for any old distraction. Gonna need something big. Like what? Gosh, boys are stupid. Just look at this place. I'm sure there's something you can use. Maybe buy the computers or something? I'll see what I can do. Maybe I just stick more things in the outlet. <laughs> nah, I'll tell Cindy about it though. Yeah, that'll be great. I'm gonna do a quick restart because I've wasted things on the Monster Mon Monster Mon's cards. We're gonna use that electrical outlet. The outlet? How is that gonna create a distraction? Uh, you know, maybe just stick this totally not metal, plastic, totally safe fork in the outlet. What's that gonna do? Make a distraction. If you insist, but I want that flower before I do anything. I could get in trouble, but it'll be worth it for something so pretty. I might have to like pick it off her body. Oh goody, get ready to run. Here comes a distraction. Okay then, give it your all. Don't hold up. Hey, Mr. Danner, look what I'm doing. What? Wait, what are you doing? That's not a good idea. You new children are dumber than the monkeys whose brains I removed. <laughs> okay, nobody move. I'm sure the power will be back on soon. I'm gonna run on over and uh, try and grab that flower, if at all possible. This is the fried corpse of Cindy. She still has the fork and the flower. I shall take the flower. A new outfit unlocked. Wow. That's how you get the outfits? Is like raiding corpses? Jesus Christ. Hey, the girl's bathroom, and one of these should be his locker. It's locked. It'll be whichever one is open. The orange one is unlocked. There's the inhaler. It must be Ozzy's. Then I shall take that. Oh, we're getting kicked back out, I imagine. Huh? Hey, kid. You can't be out of class. Get back in there. Oh, man. Shucks. If only I didn't want to be there. Aw, oh, look who's back. I'm terribly sorry that Plants in the Dark wasn't interesting enough for you. I forgive you. Please, take this laser blast to the face as a token of my regret. Oh, thanks? What the fuck? <laughs> I thought he was kidding. Get back in the classroom before the lights come back on. How? That was an overreaction. <laughs> oh, I. in that case, I just won't grab the flower first, right? It's because that, that, like, spend a specific action. This is warning me that that's when the lights are gonna come back on and when this guy's gonna hop out of the, the what, what have you. So I take the inhaler. He's not even hopping out yet. I just sneak my way back in and then I can raid the flower as the lights come back on. Ah, uh, there we go. Everyone get back to doing science. Hey, Dick for nose and eyes and face and brains. Check this out! No, no, no! Give him some room! Damn it, Ozzy! We've been over this! Where's your inhaler? In my locker! Please hurry! <laughs> well, Ozzy, I have some bad news. 
It's not there. <laughs> so, looks like you're gonna die here. But don't worry, it won't be in vain. If you sign on the dotted line here, I'm semi-legally allowed to use your body for science. <laughs> I'll just for forge it for him. It's what he would have wanted. Good news, everyone. I've suddenly come into possession of, of a cadaver. You have uh, several to work with here. Tomorrow's lesson will be on anatomy. Kind of explains where he maybe got a leg as well. I just noticed the body count. Today's class has been slightly higher than average. Perhaps we could end the day a little early. Everyone go home. Uh, I kind of missed the show and tell a little bit, or maybe they could have done something a bit different, but the the science room and gymnasium branching path seems like it adds a lot, and maybe if you put the show and tell on top of that, then it would just it would make each individual run like so much longer. There he is, Felix. I told you he would do it. <laughs> I didn't see Ozzy come out of school. Did you really do what my brother is suggesting? Hard yes. Fascinating. Well done? This is exactly what I wanted, yes. Exactly. I knew you could do it, and we did it all without your help. Yes, I'm sure father will be quite proud. He's gonna steal the credit anyways, isn't he? Give him his reward! Give him the thing! Oh yes! Um, here you are. What is it? It's a pin from our company. It represents that you are a trustworthy ally to our family. Cool. Will anyone outside of you two trust that if I show it to people? Say, Teddy, would you mind telling the driver I'll be a minute? I just need a moment to talk to our new friend here. Capital idea, my man. Sure thing, Felix. Before I go, take this Monstermon card. It's kind of like Ozzy did before he, um... Bye. Stressed Llama. I think I misread that last sentence. Oh dear, what a mess. A mess? This wasn't supposed to happen. Ozzy wasn't supposed to die. You didn't want Ozzy dead. Goodness no. I wanted Ted dead. Why? Perhaps we can discuss the matter tomorrow. Perhaps. Excellent! Good day to you, Hitman. Good day. Seems like we've come quite formal. A hitman's bodyguard is completed. New item is the prestigious pin, new clothing, the spoiled pink dress, and the germaphobe stripes. New monster mons along the way, and achievement first day of school. Tuesday, again, looping back around. But now I'm kind of wondering. Well, done on completing your first mission. Now you can bring the item un you unlock to the school whenever you want, head to the shelf and grab the thing and do the whatever. But now I'm curious. If I do the mission map, there's like the next row of missions. Are these ones all going to be Tuesday and this would be like Wednesday and Thursday? Because like, if I do any of these, will Ozzy be dead? If I go back and do these, it'll be Tuesday again, he'll be alive. If I do these, he might be dead. Uh, interesting. There might be like actual permanent steps of progression here. I can't be 100% confident in that, but it seems like maybe sort of kind of the case. It might even go so far as to be like Tuesday, Wednesday, these two are Thursday, and this final one is Friday? I don't know. I'm very interested in that specifically. While I'm here, I want to take a peek at that new Monstermon card. There we go. Stress Llama. He works 60 hours a week and has a messy roommate. That'll do it. That'll get you real pissy. And here's where you can kind of start to like swap out your character and start to look a bit different. It's weird to make yourself look like the other students, but you can you can mix and match a little bit. You won't quite quite look that way, not entirely. Uh, I like that it specifically highlights what you found. That makes it a lot easier for building up the full collection. That is also a shitload of cards to collect. There's a lot of them in this game. Well, that took exceedingly longer than I thought it would, but I want to make sure I actually properly completed that storyline. So in the future, if you guys want to see me uh, approach it in a similar way where I'm trying to play through things to actually get an ending like that, then please let me know, even if they are longer episodes. I would. I would record this as like a daily series, but at the day specifically that I'm recording this, I'm about to be away for the next like two weeks. So I'll, I'll like play and prepare as much as I can. There might be like 
two to four episodes before I'm gone, then there's going to be like a very significant gap and we'll have to see what to do with the series when I get back, if the interest is still there or if it's died off or what happens. Remains to be seen. <laughs> I look forward to seeing what your guys' response is to this. It's very exciting that the sequel is finally here. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you again soon.